Hi there, this is gonna be a short video explaining the core mechanics of Icarus. Like I said in the previous video, I have decided to focus on one element rather than all four elements. So I will be skipping Icarus and pulling the new physical weapon. Although I can't give an in-depth explanation like I used to do, I still want to briefly discuss his kit because he is very interesting and he makes Ice Team much better to play. So essentially after using his weapon skill, if you manage to cast his discharge while the skill is still on cooldown, then you gain two more skill casting. So with him alone, you get to cast skill three times. And this combined with you know two skill castings from your other two weapons makes you cast exactly five skills in a rotation. Now remember, Sakifua 1 star, it resets all weapon skills cooldown if you cast skills 5 times. And this is how Icarus improves the Ice Team rotation, because before, with Ice Team, you do have to rely on the Dice Relics. Um, and especially if you don't have like a 6 star limb. And usually what you do is that before you enter the fight, you precast 2 weapon skills. And you gotta wait for the cooldown, right? And then you enter the fight, you cast three skills so that you 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 cast five skills, you get all the reset, right? And then for the next rotation, you will have to rely on the dice relics to reset all the skill cooldown. And you can easily mess up or make mistakes during that process because you need, you gotta track how many skills you cast it and then what what is the counter, right? And with Icarus, because you cast exactly 5 skills in a rotation, you don't need that initial build up and then you don't need to worry about the, you know, you don't have to keep track of everything. So, um, yeah, so this solves the problem because before, Ice Team is known for having like a slow build up time. So Icarus solves everything and just also makes it easier to play. And on top of that, if you have Icarus 1 star, you can trigger a high multiplier attack every time you cast any weapon discharge. Now this effect can be triggered by Alice 1 star, where if you cast any ice weapon skill, you summon Alice Phantom to cast Alice weapon discharge. So that discharge casting is considered, you know, down by the player. So it means that the Phantom can also trigger Icarus 1 star effect. Now if you don't understand how Alice works, I made a video for her before, so go check it out. But then to put it short, 1 star Alice, 1 star Saki, 1 star Icarus is like the new ultimate ice comm. And you know, it gives you infinite skill resetting and a bunch of coordinated discharge attack, so it's just gonna be OP and super fun to play. The only thing you need to do is to make sure cast Icarus Discharge while his skill is on cooldown. So, you know, if you are a dedicated Ice player, just make sure to get him. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, he will be replaced whoever is in your lineup. So usually, uh, on the third slot, you have either Lin or say like Tsubasa or Frick. You know, Icarus will come in and replace them. And you know, like I said in the previous video, this is just how TOF works. The newer weapon will always be better and more powerful. And uh, if you are not a whale, try to keep up with all four elements, it's just hard. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I will come back with a normal lens video once I pull the new physical weapon. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers.